Hovitec. Just a button away. In this video tutorial, I'll explain how to restore a Unicell Cospectrum firmware dump using Cheetah 2 Pro. You need to have the dump. I have mine here. I also need to have your Cheetah 2 Pro set up. This is what the dump looks like. Now, once you have this in place, you launch your Cheetah 2 Pro. Now in Cheetah 2 Pro, you go to the Spectrum tab and you select your model from the list. If you can't find the model on the list, you scroll down to Spectrum and then you choose your chipset from this drop down. And then you will click on the Flash tab. On that firmware type, you choose Readback File. On that Readback directory, you click this button here and then I've get to the location of the dump. You select the folder. Now, once you see this here, your back button should be enabled. So you click on back. Now you have a list of all the files in the dump. So you can choose to uncheck anyone you don't intend to restore. Now, during the restore process, you might get an error like this something like this so if you get this error then try two things one try doing a full restore that is restoring all partitions all right a full dump restore if you do not back up user data and you have user data on your list here you can just find the blank user data about four megabytes of blank user data just so that you have user data file to flash another thing you can do is to come over here and uncheck protect repartition but i suggest you just try doing a full restore first now i'm going to do a full restore so i'll click on flash now this is waiting for my device so i will connect using i'll connect it in flash mode for my device i power off i hold the volume down and power buttons and I connect to PC via USB cable. And I have detection. Now you can see I got that error here, even though I had a full dump to restore. So when you get this error, you just come back here and then you uncheck protect repartition. I'm doing a full dump so I can safely go ahead and disable a full restore. So I can go ahead and disable this check. So still with my device connected, I click on flash again. You can see it detected.
Now my flashing is in progress. So you just sit back while it restores. The restore is complete as you can see and now the device has rebooted. So that's how to restore a dump to a Unisoc or Spectrum Android device using Cheetah 2 Pro.